I picture a face on it. Maybe I should draw a face on it. What's up, y'all? It's Lauren from Hot for Food, back with another recipe for you today. Thanks for being here. We are getting ready for Thanksgiving, but in the United States of America. Um, I, of course, don't live in the United States of America, so I already celebrated Thanksgiving last month, but a lot of you will be celebrating tomorrow or this weekend and having a great feast with your friends and family. So I'm throwing together a quick, awesome side dish for you. Um, we're gonna make a gratin, gratin. I think that's French, yes. Uh, it's a creamy, cheesy, bread crummy bake with vegetables. And I've decided to do a leek gratin. Leeks, an interesting vegetable. They're very tall, very sexy. I like them. You notice I use leeks a lot, especially on my other channel when I'm just like using up leftovers and stuff in what I ate in a day. I always have leeks. Leeks are on fleek. But if you'd like to do something else, if you'd like to do a broccoli gratin, a cauliflower gratin, butternut squash, you could even do whole onions. Be my guest. You can take this same sauce we're gonna make and do the same thing with a different vegetable. So the base of the sauce is going to be potatoes, just some white potatoes. You need uh, two uh, and you're just gonna dice them up. So just dice them up like this and then we're gonna boil them. You need about two cups of diced potatoes. So save that for your nacho cheese sauce or whatever. So just get them in a pot of water and boil them until they're really tender. So this is similar to the nacho cheese sauce. It's a base of potatoes to get the, the gratin creamy. We're gonna add slightly different ingredients, um, but it's basically like a bechamel. A bechamel sauce is a, a cream, usually a dairy-based sauce. And we're also gonna add vegan cheese into the mix because you need cheese and cream to make a gratin. So these are the leeks, you need three of them. I'm gonna show you how to prep them. You don't wanna use this part, this is the tough part. And you can save it or reserve it for um, a different type of saute or stir fry because you gotta cook them down quite a bit. Or you could just make a stock, like if you save all your vegetables for veggie stock, just freeze them. So just trim them off like this. You're gonna use the bulbs. Just trim off this little root bit. So now you wanna just cut the bulbs in half lengthwise. And this outer stuff is a bit tough, so just take off a couple of the layers on the outside, or one layer. If you notice a lot of dirt and debris, just rinse it off, We're, we'll get rid of that, like that. So this can all be prepped really quickly. The potatoes still have a few minutes. So now you wanna take your leeks and you wanna butter them up with some vegan butter as well as grease your baking dish. So I've let this soften a little bit so that I can play with it. <laughs> Let's grease up the dish. And now take this and just give these guys a nice little, nice little bath, <laughs> butter bath. And then you can arrange them in the baking dish. I forgot I just wanted to cut these. So just cut them into more of like a nice portion and then arrange them like that. So add those potatoes to a blender. Then add some non-dairy milk, add some vegetable stock, garlic cloves, nutritional yeast, vegan butter, lemon juice, cornstarch, that's gonna thicken this a little, sage, nutmeg, thyme, and salt and pepper. So we've got our bechamel cream sauce, which we will pour over the leeks in just a second, but we're gonna make our breadcrumb and cheese topping. Now you can use any kind of vegan cheese you like. I'm using a smoky Gouda style cheese. My favorite, it's so good, I wanna eat it. We're just gonna shred it up. Oh yeah. So now add some breadcrumbs to this a little bit of smoked paprika, and just a bit of sea salt. Just combine it with your hands, and then that's gonna be our cheesy, crunchy topping. So this thing is saucy, but it's all gonna thicken up and be so gooey and nice when we bake it. How hot does this look? 
Okay, we're gonna bake it at 425 for about 30 minutes until it's bubbling and the top gets nice and golden brown. If after 30 minutes you find that the top is not crispy enough, just move it up to the top rack for about another 10 to 15 minutes. Look at that vegan leek gratin. Mmm! It's creamy, it's crispy, crunchy, it's a little leaky. <laughs> it is a little leaky because I did scoop it up too soon, but if you just let it rest for about 10 minutes, it'll be nice and creamy, but like it won't drip all over the place. It doesn't matter, I like it saucy, you know me. I like it saucy. Oh my God, I'm starving. Mmm! So it's nice, the leeks don't get, they get soft and cooked and tender, but there's still a nice bite to them. Mmm. This is the perfect way to force people to eat their veggies. Oh yeah, that smoky cheese really is the perfect thing for this. Mmm. The top, the topping, mmm, so good. Okay, so this is a great side dish for your Thanksgiving feast or your holiday feast coming up. If you're looking for other Thanksgiving um, inspo, I have a whole playlist right below this video on my channel. Um, and check out the Thanksgiving roast. Um, there's the cauliflower roast. There's sweet potato mash, green bean casserole. Uh, tons of stuff, pumpkin pie jars. You can have a whole hot for food Thanksgiving. So if you do, hashtag hot for food Thanksgiving on social media. I wanna see your feast, I wanna see what you cook up. I want you to convince all those omnivores and those turkey eaters that they don't need any meat at the holidays. And share your stories with me on social media. I'm also at Hot For Food and at Lauren Toyota. I hope you like this one, it's so tasty. Try some other variations, like I said, onions, Butternut squash, acorn squash, uh, broccoli, cauliflower. I think the only thing with cauliflower and squash is you'll need to roast it first a little bit before you put it into the gratin and then cook it again and it'll get really tender. Okay, so I actually just did a series uh, with Chatelaine Magazine here in Canada and we're taking classic comfort foods and showing you how to vegan it. That's the name of the series. This week I'm showing you how to vegan grill cheese it. <laughs> how to take grilled cheese and vegan it. So go check out that episode by clicking in the card over here right now after this episode. I'm out, go watch that, and there's more episodes of Vegan It on Chatelaine Magazine's YouTube channel to come as well. I'm also here every Wednesday. And uh, happy Thanksgiving, y'all, to all of you in the South. Okay, bye.